My dad was secretly living a double life, so when I found out I exposed him to my mom, she forced him to take us to confront his second family. The day that my life fell apart started with me trying to do something nice. My dad was leaving for work one morning, and he was pretty angry that nobody had prepared him lunch. So given that it was my day off, I decided to surprise him. I cooked him his favorite meal and stopped by his office. But as I was waiting for him in the lobby, I saw something that completely broke me. The door to his office opened, and out walked a woman, followed by him as well as two kids I didn't recognize. One of them called him Daddy. I quickly hid behind a corner, and when the four of them walked outside, I followed. In the car park, I saw my father hugging the woman and kissing her on the lips, then taking the children in his arms and kissing their forehead. It was at that moment I realized my father had a secret family. I wanted to go straight back into his office and confront him in front of everyone, demand an explanation and put him on the spot, but I figured that wasn't fair. I made my way back home, going straight to my room and locking the door. I tried to make sense of what I had just seen. I kept coming back to the same question. How could my dad do this? How could he have another family? I don't even remember how much time passed before he came home that night. All I know is that by the time he walked through the door, I knew that I had to confront him. So when he gets home, I'm waiting for him. My mom is out. So it's just the two of us. He walks in, all smiles, and says, Hey, sweetheart, how was your day? I just look at him and say, Who are they? His smile drops instantly, and he looks at me like a deer in headlights. He asked me what I was talking about, but I could see the panic in his eyes. I'm not playing games, so I say it again. I asked him who the woman and the kids were. He just stands there, staring at me, and I can see him trying to come up with something to say. But before he could, I kept going. I told him that I had seen him with them, and that I had heard the little girl call him daddy. I said I saw him kiss and hug their mom and asked him again, Who were they? At this point, he knows he's caught. He doesn't even try to deny it. Instead, Instead, he just sighs and says, it's not what I think. How could it not be what I think? What else could it be? When you hug a woman and have a little child beside you to call you daddy? What other reason is there for a child to call you daddy? Safe to say, I was not having it. I asked what it was then, however, just to hear his explanation. I told him it looked like he had another family. I asked him how long this had been going on and accused him of being a liar. He tried to calm me down. He said that it was complicated and that I didn't understand, but I don't care about any of that. I just want the truth. So I kept pushing and demanding answers until he finally admitted it. He told me that yes, he had another family. He's been seeing this woman for a few years now, and they had two kids together, a little girl and a 20-year-old son that was severely disabled. He had cerebral palsy. He says he never wanted it to go this far, but now he was in too deep, and he didn't know how to get out. I was devastated. My dad had been living a double life for so long. To be fair to him, he managed to hide it for a very long time, so in a weird way, I have to give it to him. However, there's no way I can forgive him, and what's even worse is that he started begging me not to tell my mom. He says it would destroy her, and that it would tear our family apart. He even tried to bribe me with money, saying he'd buy me anything I wanted if I just kept quiet. At first, I immediately thought that there was nothing that could stop me from telling mom. But then, that night, after everything had settled down, I found myself lying in bed, staring up at the ceiling. Every time I closed my eyes, I saw my dad with that other family, laughing and smiling like they were his whole world. And every time, the same question kept coming back to me. What would happen if I didn't tell mom? If I didn't say anything, my mom would never know. She could go on living her life, unaware of the double life her husband was leading. She'd still smile when he walked through the door, still laugh at his jokes, still believe in the love they'd built over the last 20 years. I knew how much she loved him. I'd seen it every day of my life, the way her her face would light up when he came home, the way she'd lean into his touch, the way she'd talk about him to her friends when it was a girl's night in, and I knew how much she trusted him. She never doubted him, never questioned where he was or what he was doing. If I told her the truth, all of that would be destroyed. I'd be the one to shatter the perfect picture she had of their marriage, and honestly, that was a very heavy burden to bear. I battled with the thought that it would be right for me to be the one to take that away from her. The thought of seeing the pain in her eyes, the idea of tears streaming down her face made my heart ache. I knew it would devastate her. I didn't know if I would be selfish in telling her or not. But then another thought crept in, one that I couldn't ignore. If I didn't tell her? What kind of person would that make me? Could I really look her in the eyes, day after day knowing what I knew? Could I pretend everything was fine when I knew it was far from it? If I didn't tell her, I figured my dad would just keep living this double life, lying to both of us and betraying both of us. And if mom found out on her own, the betrayal would be even worse than knowing that I knew and didn't say anything. I couldn't live with myself if I kept this from her. She deserved the truth no matter how painful it was. After I knew my dad was asleep, I took his phone. I knew his passcode and I started going through his messages. Sure enough, I found texts between him and this woman. They were texts where they talked about how much they miss each other and how much they love their kids. Kids. There, in between the pictures of our family, were dozens of photos of him with the other woman and her kids. I clicked on the first one. They went to Disney World together. I looked at the day this was taken, and it was during the week of a big project work trip that Dad had told us about earlier. I now know exactly where he was for that week. They were all smiling, standing in front of Cinderella's castle. The kids were wearing Mickey Mouse ears, and the woman had her arm wrapped around my dad. In another photo, the little girl was on his shoulders, laughing as they watched a parade go by. There was a picture of them on the teacup ride, and another of them holding giant stuffed animals, clearly having the time of their lives. I stared at the screen, I felt my eyes burning before the tears fell down. Disney World was the one place I had begged him to take us, year after year. Every time he'd given the same excuses, like we didn't have enough money or maybe we could next year when things calmed down at work, and I had believed him. I had accepted it, thinking that maybe one day we'd finally get to go, just like all my friends had. But that day never came, and here I was 18 without ever going to Disney World, and he was taking his daughter, who looked no more than two there. He had chosen them over us. 
The tears fell down my face as I kept scrolling. I couldn't stop myself from imagining what that trip must have been like. I wondered if he ever thought of us while he was there, or if he ever felt guilty when his other daughter called him daddy as they walked through the park. Did he ever regret not taking me instead? But those thoughts only made me angrier. Clearly, he hadn't regretted it enough to change his behavior. He'd kept it up, living this double life, taking them on the trip I'd always wanted while telling me and my mom that we just had to wait, that maybe someday we'd get to go, but someday never came, and now I knew why. I took screenshots of everything and saved them on my phone because I knew I needed proof when I talked to my mom. The next morning when she woke up, I sat her down at the kitchen table and told her everything. I showed her the screenshots, and she just broke down. She cried, asked me how long this had been going on, and asked me why he would do this. I didn't have any answers for her. I was just as shocked and hurt as she was, but she was strong. After a while, she stops crying and she tells me that we're going to confront him together. She said he needed to face the consequences of his actions, and she wanted me by her side when she did it. That night, when my dad came home, we were waiting for him. My mom didn't waste any time. She looked him in the eye and told him to tell her the truth about the other family. He tried to deny it at first, but we both knew he was lying. So my mom showed him the screenshots, and he finally broke down. He admitted everything, how he met this woman, how he started seeing her, and how it eventually led to them having kids together. He says he never wanted to hurt us, but he didn't know how to stop. He spoke about the early days of his marriage. He was young and overwhelmed by the new responsibilities that came with starting a family. The pressure of establishing himself in his career had taken a toll on him. It was at a work conference early in their marriage that he met her, Jessica. She was everything he felt he wasn't at the time, carefree and fun. What started as innocent conversations soon grew into something more. At first, he convinced himself it was just a fling, but that was a lie he told himself. And once he started, it snowballed. Years passed, and the affair grew deeper and more complicated. Jessica got pregnant, and suddenly, it wasn't just about him and her anymore. He tried to rationalize it by saying he was caught up and couldn't find a way out without destroying everything. My mom and I sat there, absorbing the reality of his words. At that moment, I knew that the life we had before was over. My mom knew it too, and my dad sat there, broken by the weight of his own choices. I'm so angry at this point, but I'm also heartbroken. I told him that he needed to tell the other woman the truth, that she needed to know about us. He says she didn't know anything about us. She thought he was single, but he never told her he was married, so we made him set up a time for all of us to meet. We told him that we were going to meet this other woman, and he was going to tell her the truth. He tried to talk us out of it, but we were not backing down. He's lied enough. It's time for the truth to come out. The next day, we drove to a park where my dad had arranged to meet her. My mom and I were in the car, watching as he walked up to the woman and the kids. He was holding the little girl, and she was laughing as he played with her. It broke my heart to see it because she had no idea what was about to happen. When we got out of the car and walked over to them, the woman looked confused. She asks my dad who we are, and he just looks at the ground. My mom didn't waste any time. She told the woman who we were and what was going on. The woman was in shock. She couldn't believe what she was hearing, but she still remained calm. She looked at my dad, asking him if it was true, and he just nodded. She didn't cry, though. She just stood there, trying to process everything. Then, she said something that shocked us both. She told my dad that if he wanted to stay with her and their kids, she'd accept him as her boyfriend. My mom and I were both stunned. How could she be okay with this? But it turns out she already had some suspicions. She knew something wasn't right, but she didn't want to believe it. She said she'd stay with him because she loved him and their kids, but she didn't expect anything more from him. My mom is done at this point. She looked at my dad and said she was filing for a divorce, and that was it. We left the park, and my dad stayed behind with his other family. I haven't seen my dad much after that except in court.